Hey, everybody. John Granato from the bench. Mornings on ESPN 97.5. AJ Hoffman. Afternoons on the Blitz on ESPN 97.5. Let's talk more Madden ratings. J.J. Watt has a huge Madden rating, a 98 for J.J. Watt. That's ahead of Chandler Jones and Khalil Mack. T.J. TJ Watt didn't even make the top 10, even though he finished second in Defensive Player of the Year. He's overrated, AJ. He's just overrated. He has played basically half the games over the last four years. Now, he had the 16th sack year in the last four years, but he's only averaging just over five sacks a year in the last four years. I don't believe that I don't believe I would take JJ ahead of any of the other guys I just mentioned. I, I don't think so either. And for him to be he's he's a 98. One point less than Aaron Donald, who's the only guy who's a 99. And then it's a pretty big, you know, like Khalil Mack below him. You know, guys guys who have been doing every year, been on the field every year. Uh, I, I have a hard time putting J.J. there. I do think that game, you know, it is, it's it's video game ratings. But the, the fact is, they're, they're giving J.J. such a reputation play. Uh, because there's no way you can look at him and say, oh, yeah, that's the second best front seven guy in the NFL today. It's not even close. No, and I, it's, it is. It's all rep- – is J.J. Watt the greatest Texan? Uh, yeah, I, yes, I would say yes. He's going to be a Hall of Famer. Is he a Hall of Fame person with all that he has done for the community? Uh, yes, all of that. But he's being overpaid right now. At twenty million a year, he's he's not worth that, especially you can't stay on the field. And now there's he's got the question whether or not he's even going to play if he has to wear a, a face mask. And if he doesn't, you know, I, you know, I don't think the Texans are doing anything this year, and I don't think the defense is going to be very good. Actually, if you want to know the truth, if JJ doesn't play, he's got himself an out because he could say, well, I, I didn't play because uh, I had to wear a face mask here. So uh, I, I think it would hide that he's not the same player, and we will still uh, love some J.J. Watt. But it might put a ding in him uh, with the fans if he doesn't play because of this face mask thing. I, I think if he weren't playing because he was scared of coronavirus, it, fans would be understanding. And I, I think everyone should be. If you're scared to play because of your health, okay, fine. But if you're not going to play because there's uncomfortable equipment, didn't we all drag Antonio Brown for not liking the new helmet? He wasn't going to play because he didn't like his helmet. We're like, is this guy kidding? That's exactly what JJ's threatening. If he's actually serious about it, I don't know that he is. But for to say I might not play if I've got to wear this face shield, that's a very Antonio Brown like statement. I won't play if I've got to wear this other helmet. It's not comfortable for me. Right. If that's the case, we, we drug Antonio. Absolutely, J.J. should get drugged for not wanting to play with equipment that's a little bit uncomfortable to him. That's that's not a good look. Well, and, 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 and we saw LeBron say, I'm not playing if there's no fans. And guess where LeBron is? He's playing. Well, no one knows where LeBron is. He's he, No one can find him in his uh, palatial estate on Disney. But, but um, yeah, if J.J. does play, first of all, under over a number of games, under over a number of sacks. If if there's a 16 game season, I'll set the I'll set the total at eight because I that's what he's he's averaged. I, I and I have a hard time betting that he'll go over eight, and I, I you know sacks I, I'll go with five six. Wow, I want to go over in both of those, but if those are the numbers again, you just can't afford to have JJ Watt in your team anymore, and that's a tough decision that the Texans never make. Yeah, they they let Andre Johnson go for a year and go to to the Colts, but uh, J.J. Watt is going to have a statue. Instead of Bob McNair's statue, there's going to be the J.J. Watt statue out front, and guess what? You cannot pay that guy another year under those circumstances. Well, and we've talked about this before. When you paid Deshaun Watson, you're going to have to make uncomfortable cuts in other spots. That may be the first spot you look because that's the first spot where you can take away a, a nice hefty chunk of your salary cap and when you consider how many games a guy's played in over the last four years, the production you lose isn't all that great. So if you're t- if you're talking about building a franchise or building a roster around a guy like Deshaun Watson, who would now be making let's uh, let's guess fifteen percent of your salary cap, you've got to make those those tough decisions. And JJ, unless he has a full healthy uh, and, and and really impressive statistical year. He may be the first guy to get cut from that. Well, right, and but but the good news is you cut JJ, 
and you replace him with a first round defensive lineman this year because no. there's so many great defensive no. linemen. No, that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. They don't or have a first no. or a second. Yeah. Yeah.